In this podcast, I want to talk about learning to see. This is something that uh, I'll tell you an anecdote to begin with. Uh, one of my uh, people that help assist me with hair transplants for now uh, over a decade, um, I was looking on Facebook one day and I saw this very obvious hair system the gentleman was wearing in this photograph. And I just was wondering, okay, here's this lady who's done hair for 15 years, uh, five uh, outside with someone else. And I said, can you tell me what is wrong with this person uh, that looks uh, unnatural? And she said, um, I don't know, does he have a fake chin implant? Uh, uh, does he have a, a natural rhinoplasty or nose job? And uh, I said, no. Nope. And, she, and she said, well, I don't know what it is. So it was the fact that the gentleman had a hair system. It was actually quite good, but my eye was able to catch it in a second. Um, we're, I just got back from India and I was giving a lecture there and we're having lunch and my wife and I were seated together at lunch and the first thing I saw, the guy had a hair system on and my wife had no clue, um, even though to me it was very obvious. The, so my point of this is that you know, when people are always worried about looking fake after a hair transplant, they say, look, just whatever you do, don't make me look fake. And what I tell them is that their standard is actually far lower than mine. I'll do a similar blog for uh, face as well. But I will tell you that um, I was watching Creed, for example, the movie, and the first thing I saw was how Sylvester Sloan did, did, had, a, had, a hair trans, had a hair piece on. And again, most people don't even know, like Ben Affleck, I see that he's got one, I can see it. I did P90X and I saw the gentleman had one. I could see it very obviously, but everyone I tell that to, they go, you must be kidding, there's no way. In fact, I stood next to Tony Horton uh, during this P90X thing and I could clearly see it, but I know no one else in the room could see it because they don't do this for a living. So bottom line is, even though I strive every second, every day to make the most natural looking results out there, I... My standard is far higher than yours. In fact, what's interesting, too, is my first five years in practice, um, Amina uh, Vance, formerly Mar Amina Karmanovsky before she got married, uh, has been with me close to 20 years, and she would show me a, um, an example and say, you know, can you see this doesn't look natural? And, I, and to be honest with you, it took me five years before I could even see something unnatural. Now, it doesn't mean sometimes you see these hair transplants that look very pluggy. You see that it just looks so crazy looking and it looks fake. There, that, that is anyone can tell. So I'm not talking about those situations. I'm talking about the situation where you will not see it. I, I will see it. And that is because I had years of experience. One of the most embarrassing things I saw in the last year was this lady came in uh, for consultation. I saw her across the room. And clearly to me, she had frontal fibrosing alopecia, type of scarring hair loss, which is in most cases contraindicated. In other words, not indicated for hair transplant unless it's been burned out. Patient's been well counseled. But she was sitting across the room. I could easily see she had FFA. There was almost no doubt in my mind uh, from 20 feet away. So Amina is my consultant. She started the consultation and said, there's a lady that just had FFA, has FFA. I said, yeah, I saw her when she walked through the door. She said, yeah, can you believe it that she was referred by a dermatologist, or not referred by a dermatologist, she saw a dermatologist, and the dermatologist, who should be an expert in FFA, biopsied the crown. FFA affects the frontal scalp and the eyebrows, which was so obviously unusual looking to me. It was like from 20 feet away, I could see it. But the, the, the dermatologist biopsied the crown and found it said androgenic alopecia or male pattern baldness, which is okay. She probably had some um, balding there. I can't recall now, but I'm sure she had some thinning there that was consistent with that, but he totally missed the biopsy, he totally missed the problem, which is the frontal fibrosing alopecia to the front of the scalp. So um, my point of this is, yes, I know you want naturalness, but my goal is to exceed what you even consider natural.